hello welcome back for the next lecture on refrigeration and air conditioning in the last lecture we have discussed the aircraft refrigeration system and for that purpose we have selected four methods out of which first method is simple air refrigeration system second one is bootstrap air refrigeration system third regenerative air refrigeration system and fourth is the reduced ambient air refrigeration system so with the help of these four methods we can do the refrigeration in the aircrafts so out of which the pre first two methods that we have already covered in the last lecture so today we will discuss the third method of aircraft refrigeration that is regenerative air refrigeration system for the aircrafts now there is the one difference as we have discussed in the simple air refrigeration system there is only one compressor only one heat exchanger and one turbine in bootstrap air refrigeration system we are using two compressors two heat exchanger and one turbine in this regenerative air refrigeration system we are using one compressor two heat exchangers and one turbine along with this circulation fan so as usual the process is beginning from the sucking of the you know, so ambient air so that ambient air is passed through the convergent section so when it passes through the convergent section its velocity is increases and due to which the kinetic energy is increases so that high kinetic energy high velocity in air is called it as a ram air then that ram air is passes to the jet compressor again we have just passing some fraction of ram air to the jet compressor and remaining portion of that ram air is taken for the heat exchanger so the ram air goes to the jet compressor so there compression is takes place and high pressure high temperature air which is coming out from the compressor is passed to the heat exchanger now here we are using two heat exchangers so first heat exchanger we are marking as a heat exchanger 1 and second heat exchanger as a heat exchanger 2 now this high pressure high temperature compressor air when it passes through the heat exchanger 1 then it acts as a cold fluid and at the same time the ram air which does not allow to pass into the jet compressor or the ram air which is bypassed that simultaneously passes through the heat exchanger 1 so when it comes in contact with this high temperature compressed air its temperature is increases and the compressed air temperature is decreases so uh, by increasing the temperature of this ram air it goes to the circulation fan and through the circulation fan it is rejected to the surrounding now this moderate temperature compressed air when it passes through the heat exchanger number 2 when this moderate com temperature compressed air it passes through the heat exchanger 2 now in this heat exchanger 2 that compressed air it acts as a hot fluid and it goes to the turbine so its again temperature is reduced so low temperature compressed air is passes to the turbine so when in the turbine expansion takes place so sudden drop in temperature and sudden drop in pressure takes place so there is low pressure low temperature air is there so low pressure low temperature air is output of the turbine but here some amount of that low pressure low temperature or conditioned air is transferred to the aircraft cabin and remaining amount means the bleed is taken for the heat exchanger number 2 so when that compressed air moderate temperature compressed air is passes through the heat exchanger number 2 so the cold fluid used for that heat exchanger is the low temperature low pressure air low pressure low temperature air which acts as a cold fluid and again by the recirculation it again enters into the cabin so in this way regenerative regenerative means what the expanded air still that expanded cooled air we are regenerating for reducing the temperature the expanded air here we are regenerating that heat for the heat exchanger number 
so this is all about the regenerative air refrigeration system similar system is shown on the ts diagram process is starting from at point number one which is the surrounding air here again you will observe only four pressure lines are there because here there is no any secondary uh, compressor is there so first pressure line is the ambient pressure line second one is cabin pressure line and third one is the ramp pressure line and last one is the main compressor pressure line so from this the sur surrounding air is uh, passes through the convergent section it is gets rammed so its pressure is increases from ambient pressure to the ramp pressure so one to two is the in that line then from that ram air is passes to the jet compressor where actual compression takes place so its pressure and temperature both are increases from two to three its pressure is increases from a ram pressure line to the main jet pressure line then it passes to the heat exchanger number one so again three to four that is a cooling is takes place and simultaneously it passes to the heat exchanger number two so both the cooling processes are shown by this line three to four then at point number four it is the outcome or output of heat exchanger number two so from that point number four it enters into the turbine so when it enters into the turbine the expansion takes place so during expansion pressure is reduces as well as temperature is reduces so four to five it is the expansion process so that pressure is fall down to the cabin pressure and when that low pressure low temperature air is transfers to the aircraft cabin so at that time that air will absorb the heat from that cabin and its temperature is increases somehow so that is shown by the line pi to 6 so this is the regenerative aircraft refrigeration system so generally this system is used in the supersonic aircrafts supersonic aircraft means where speed is very tremendous and uh, some kind of rackets so in aerospace there are aerospace applications the different rockets are used so for that also the cooling purpose or air conditioning purpose we are using the regenerative air refrigeration system here we are using only two heat exchangers so this is one of the most important part of the regenerative air refrigeration system now next we will discuss the last system of this aircraft refrigeration method that is the reduced ambient air refrigeration system reduced ambient air refrigeration system now here as the name mentioned reduced ambient so these systems are generally used where the ambient temperature is very high ambient temperature is very high so at that conditions we are using the reduced ambient air refrigeration system the process is similar we are using one compressor one heat exchanger but here we are using two turbines here we are using two turbines along with one heat exchanger and one compressor and these two two turbines are driven by the reduction gearbox so that its working can be possible now again here the process is starting from the ambient air is passes through the convergent section where the, its velocity is increases and at the same time its kinetic energy is increases so high velocity high kinetic energy is passes through the convergent section and that air is called it as a ram air then the portion of that ram air is passes to the compressor and remaining amount of ram air is passes to the turbine which is bypassed so what, uh, the air passes to the compressor its pressure and temperature both are increases so high pressure high temperature compressed air is passed through the heat exchanger it passed through the heat exchanger now so it acts as a cold fluid hot fluid that compressed air is a hot fluid so at the same time the bypassed air which is ram air is passes through the first turbine t1 so when it passes through the first turbine so expansion takes place and due to the expansion pressure and temperature of ram air is fall down and it again passes through the heat exchanger so in the heat exchanger compressed air is a hot fluid and a expanded ram air is a cold fluid so its temp ram air temperature is increases and again it 
exit to the atmosphere with the help of the circulation fan then that compressed hot air its temperature is fall down so its temperature is moderate temperature air it again passes through the turbine number 2 that is T2 so when it passes through the turbine number 2 so again its expansion takes place and that expanded air is passes through the aircraft cabin that expanded air is passes to the aircraft cabin here the two turbines are connected to the shaft driving a fan through the reduction gearbox means the work output of the turbine is given to the circulation fan also due to high speed of aircraft temperature the ram air is relatively high compared to the other system means here the ambient is always more already ambient temperature is already more so the ram air temperature in this case is also be greater than the any other systems than the other previous systems so if the existing temperature is also 60 to 70 degrees celsius so when its ramming is takes place that ram air temperature will reach us up to the 100 degrees celsius so in this way the reduced ambient air temperature is used in the high speed aircrafts so where ram air temperature is very high so this same process is shown on this pv diagram sorry ts diagram so process 1 to 2 again the ram air pressure from 2 to 3 the jet compression pressure is increases temperature is increases again when it compressed air is passes through the heat exchanger then the cooling is takes place so from 3 to 4 it is the cooling process so again when that compressed air is passes to the turbine number 2 please remember here turbine number 1 is only operated for the ram air and turbine 2 is only operated for the compressed air so when that compressed air is passes to the turbine number 2 expansion takes place so their pressure is reduces temperature is reduces so pressure is reduces up to the cabin pressure and temperature is also reduces and when that air low pressure low temperature air when it enters into the aircraft cabin it absorbs the heat so when it absorbs the heat its temperature is increases and that is shown by the line 5 to 6 so in this way we have covered all the four methods of aircraft refrigeration system in that we have discussed simple air refrigeration system which is the basic cycle then the three modern types of air refrigeration system that is a bootstrap a regenerative and reduced ambient in bootstrap air refrigeration system we are using two compressors and two heat exchangers in regenerative heat uh, air refrigeration system we are using two heat exchangers only and one compressor one turbine and in reduced ambient air refrigeration system we are using one compressor one heat exchanger along with the two turbines along with two turbines so sometimes there may be question can be asked on the multiple choice question means the two co two compressors and two heat exchangers are used in the certain type of air refrigeration system so answer is the bootstrap air refrigeration system hope you have understood this point in case if you are having any query we will discuss it